Hey, Stormy! Wait. Hey. How the hell are you? Good. Oh, have a seat here. Let me get you some food. Oh, yeah. yeah. You look hungry. Yeah, I sure am. Sit down. Here. Yeah. How'd you find us? Where the hell you been like this all off by yourself? I was heading back to the company. You what? Huh? I can see you doing it because they make you. But ready and willing. Huh. Company don't care about you. Company's just a shell, a hotel. People come and go. You ready to get shot at for a hotel? Yeah, and after you're gone, they're gonna have other guests and so on and so on. You don't owe them nothing. You believe in something that don't believe in you. Made a mistake getting in this discussion. Yeah? Company don't give a shit about you. They're playing you like a fiddle in a band. Yeah, you're just the kind they like to get, too. They don't give a shit about you. Lieutenant. I was wondering if you could put my platoon in company reserve. My boys have had it tougher than any other platoon. We suffered more casualties. We've, we're more under strength. These guys need a break. It's just, it's not fair to be sending my guys up to the front all the time. Fair? What's not fair? What's fair got to do with it? No. I'm afraid uh, I'll have to deny your request, Sergeant. See, your platoon's the best we've got. They've got more experience there, tougher. They belong out in front. So is that an order, sir? Oh, I'm afraid it is, Sergeant. So in other words, the more of us get killed getting experience, the more of us gotta get killed using that experience. As I said, fair has nothing to do with it, unfortunately. Now in a war, everything useful has to be used, and here, well, it's me who decides what is most useful and where. Now, do you have any other questions for me, Sergeant Becker? No, sir. And that's all. Aye, aye, sir. The guy, the guy, he belongs in a barn. He's a gardener. He's a ballet dancer. What, we're gonna be, he's gonna be in charge of battalion. We're gonna be in the mountains flipping and flapping around in slippers? He's a fucking schmeckle, the guy. What the fuck are you talking about? The fucking stupid fuck of a lieutenant volunteered us. You still on he's that same He's taking chances with us, all right? The guy's fucking with us. You think he wasn't glad when they relieved the captain? He couldn't keep from smiling, the guy. He had a, his mouth was doing like a worm. Connie. Do me a fucking favor. Stop sitting here and yakking about it and go tell the fucking guy. Hey, why don't you go tell the fucking guy yourself? Well, I see that ice fucking shit. Oh, fucking shit. Give him room. room. Why don't you go up there? I don't know. Why don't you go up there? Come on, I'm going home. I'm going to the room. Anybody see Ben? Mozzie. Anybody see Ben? Wait, New that's York, not yeah, bad. Yeah. That's not the lieutenant. That's a the fucking sardine yeah, sitting yeah, over there. Look like he's selling a dead fish. The fuck? Mom, Get up, yeah. He's looking for hey, a bad fish. Hey, hey, no hey, 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 there ain't no bad fish. There ain't no bad fish. What are you here? looking at? Tell him about the fish. Come on, Mozzie. Come on. Where'd you get those fucking feet, Mozzie? Come on, you son of a bitch. Let's go, Mozzie. Let's go, Mozzie. You want to know what we think of you? Glory, Hunter. Come on. Volunteers for something else, man. Come on. Let us go in there and do all the fighting, man. Everybody in this outfit hates your guts. Did you know that? Come on. I'll take you myself, man. So court marshal me.
Mining country. You miss it? Oh yeah. What do you miss? I miss my home in Breathitt County. Bet you get a lot of friends, huh? I miss I miss my family. You got a big family. When are you going home? What does it take not to burn you out? Go ahead, roll, motherfucker. I got a headache, I mean. They keep hitting me in the head. And I just, I'm supposed to stand up, sit up straight, stand up straight and be quiet. But I have something I gotta say. Said that he escaped. What, here? Yeah. Would you look at him? Yeah, who's gonna see what? him? I'm with Thorne. Remember what they did with our guys in Bataan? Yeah. The second battalion found where they was eating one of their own men. How good they are. Strung him up on a branch like a deer. Good they are. Field dressed him. They yeah. eat people. Colonel gave us personal orders. You know damn well he's gonna check up if we show up and one guy's missing. Well, it's either that or carry him. I'm ain't. not carrying him. I ain't carrying no fucking Jap all the way back to regiment. You understand? I'm a corporal. I outrank you. I yeah. say kill him. Look at him. You'll be doing a poor fuck a favor. Coombs is right. The colonel's definitely gonna check up if one of these guys is missing. Now, I'm not carrying him. No, I don't want to get in trouble, that's all. Bill? Yes, sir. You wanted to see me? Yes, sir. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. You're the acting sergeant, right? Yes, sir. When did you get this? This morning, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, that you do not have to accede to this request. You know that your wife cannot get a divorce, cannot get a separation without your official permission. You understand? If there's something else with a letter like this in your possession, you have the right to stop all allotments. You have the right to stop all payments, all government insurance policies. You have that right. But 
I want to give it to her. Why would you want to do that? There's all sorts of attitudes and opinions, I guess. You have nothing to be ashamed of, Sergeant. Do you that I certainly will. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute, stop. Today, I held it up a little bit because I wanted to write my own endorsements. I just thought it'd be a good time to give it to you now. This is an order for a field commission appointing you a first lieutenant of infantry. Can I think it over? Of course you can. You take all the time you want. If you want to change your mind on that other matter, then you're all right, too. Thank you, sir. It's a shame what we do to each other, isn't it? Got a girl. I don't know how anybody can march and fight and rough terrain with an ankle like that. How long was it bothering you? Oh, about a couple weeks. Then why the hell did you wait so long to come to the hospital? Yeah, we're gonna need an operation, that's for sure. Several months in a cast. <laughs> you prepared to spend several months in a plastic cast? Admit this man for evacuation. <laughs> 